So DJI just dropped a new flip firmware update while some of their big upcoming products are leaking pretty fast. We have regulatory details as well as a surprise action camera and a lot more. So let's just jump in and talk about it. Let's start with a feature that used to require a full-size Hollywood rig, and now you can do it from a drone that you can launch from your palm. So the DJI Flip just got its biggest firmware update with firmware 1.00.13.00, which unlocks the ability to do a dolly zoom. And that's one of those cool cinematic effects where the background appears to warp and stretch while the subject stays locked in frame. It's a trick that directors have used in movies for decades, and now it's a button that you can press on your phone to make your drone do it. But it's not just for YouTubers or TikTokers who want drama. The update also brings significant improvements to skin tone accuracy in photo and video modes, and even lower frame rates, which is where drones sometimes struggle with color. Portraits and vlogs straight out of the flip should look more lifelike and flattering, especially if you're filming in a complex lighting environment like being outside. But just a quick heads up, if you're updating the drone, it will reset all of your camera preferences. So take a minute to check your settings before your next flight, save that stuff. Make sure that you've got all the right info. Don't end up shooting in the wrong mode or color profile after doing the firmware update. And just a quick recap, the Flip is an extremely unique camera drone. It's $439, it's aimed squarely at creators and hobbyists, it's compact, it's foldable, and it's crucially under 249 grams, which keeps it exempt from most drone registration rules, especially if you're traveling. Palm takeoff and landing removes the need for a bulky controller and it supports app-based controls, even voice commands. So beginners don't have to fiddle with joysticks. It's got AI subject tracking built in and it'll move all around you while you're recording yourself, which gives you really the ability to shoot hands-free. Spec-wise, it has a one over 1.3 inch sensor. DJI loves those one over 1.3 inch 48 megapixel sensors. It shoots 4K video at up to 60 frames per second in a stabilized three axis gimbal. The battery, props, and portability make it super safe and versatile for both indoor and outdoor use. And with new features like dolly zoom hitting, the Flip is looking like a solid entry in the creator space right now. So if you've updated your Flip, let me know down in the comments. I'll take a look at your video if it's on your YouTube channel and I'll go ahead and post it. Really quick, I wanna jump into this DJI video to talk about the fact that this video is sponsored by me. And unless I say otherwise, every video on this channel is backed by my photography business. YouTube ad revenue is nice, but it doesn't keep the lights on. I am a working professional photographer and this is how I make a living. I specialize in portraits, family sessions, and photo and video for local businesses. So if you're in Vegas, LA, Riverside, Orange County, or San Diego, and you need a professional content that makes you look good, I am available. You'll find booking info and links down in the description. Now back to our DJI video. So we've got some pretty detailed leaks out of DJI, which I know is not news, uh, including some prototypes flying on the streets and some regulatory filings that could potentially shift what we think of when we think of Mini. So I mentioned in a previous video that we heard that the Mini 5 Pro was gonna be on the way. September is the expected release date for that drone, which is right on time. But now we have new information coming out of the usual suspects over on X that we're gonna be getting an Avada 3 and a Neo 2, all are expected to hit the market this summer, which makes things pretty exciting in the drone world. But new leaks are actually showing a Mini 5 Pro with a dramatically larger camera, likely a full one inch CMOS sensor and a body that looks a little heavier and more industrial than what we saw in the Mini 4. Testers have been spotted in China flying these prototypes and the blurred images have somewhat confirmed a bigger vented motor that appears to have LiDAR. That means better collision avoidance and landing safety, especially when in low light environments. But one big detail is in the FCC filings, we see a 4,680 milliamp battery at 33.5 watt hours. That is a huge jump over the Mini 4's 2690 milliamp battery. We're talking about a 30% increase, which when you combine it with OcuSync 4 and its 40 kilometer range, that pushes the Mini into kind of a whole different class. So I'm curious if the weight will maintain that under 249 gram threshold considering these improvements. Next, we've got an update to the Avada line in the Avada 3. 
The Avada 2 is already one of the most popular FPV drones for consumers, but the Avada 3 could actually really take it to the next level. Leaked videos are revealing a familiar body with an upgraded camera sensor and a new gimbal design that can tilt further, suggesting faster flight and wider pitch controls. The battery has been shifted backwards for stability, and the big headline is that the four blade prop setup replaces the old two blade props. And that is a big shift for FPV, boosting both power and efficiency for freestyle and cinematic pilots. Next on the docket, we've got the Neo 2. While everyone is looking at the Avada 3 in the leaked footage, some folks have actually caught a very different looking Neo in the same frames with dual layered prop guards and new white marking stickers pointing to a Neo 2 prototype that is smaller, safer for indoor work, and possibly with modular batteries strapped externally. Not as flashy as the Mini 5, but it could appeal to commercial and indoor creative flyers. So these leaks are coming in very early, but we are already seeing that photography, safety, battery upgrades, really all of it, can really shuffle around the DJI drone roadmap this year. But I'm curious for some of you, what makes more sense? A Mini 5, the Avada 3, a Neo 2? If all of these came out in the same summer, which one are you going for? Our last story is a big thing that is very small, <laughs> uh, which is an update in DJI's action camera lineup that we might be seeing a teeny tiny Osmo Nano. We just saw it over at the FCC and it looks to really take on GoPro and Insta360 in the teeny tiny action camera market. And don't forget, FCC filings normally go under confidentiality for 180 days, which means that these have been there for at least that long and now they are in the public domain. So what we have are filings for a product called the Osmo Nano, and the hope is that we start seeing details soon. It looks like there's going to be two modules, the ON001 for the actual camera system and the OD001 listed for the display. Industry insiders expect a modular setup similar to DJI's earlier Action 2, but with major improvements in heat management and stability. And if you remember back to my previous video where we talked about the potential for an Osmo 360, where I went into quite a bit of detail about the history of the action camera market from DJI and what products they've had available. The Action 2 was not an exceptionally well-received product. It was cool, but it had issues. So if they've been able to resolve some of those issues, this could be a super interesting product on the market. Obviously, the speculation is that we would have a magnetic mounting system to be able to quickly swap this guy out on your helmet, your drone, a chest mount. I'm sure we can assume there'll be some sort of AI stabilization for creators and FPV pilots, as well as athletes getting extra smooth footage from a device that is about the size of your thumb. We also have the FCC filings for the Osmo 360, which is a dual lens device that we expect to see one over 1.3 inch sensors to potentially leapfrog the GoPro Max on image quality and low light performance but potentially land underneath the Insta360 X5 in price. So DJI's strategy so far this year just seems to be shotgun, right? We're just gonna launch everything we can. So I'm curious which of these products is most interesting to you. Let me know down in the comments. Now, this means that we're probably going to expect a ton of product announcements clustered in the summer and probably additional leaks that might even turn into surprise early releases as DJI has done in the past. The release calendar is gonna be pretty crowded and I will have as much in the way of breakdowns, direct comparisons and demos as I can as soon as these things hit the wild. And if you wanna support what I'm doing here, consider becoming a channel member. You'll get exclusive access to resources like LUTs and presets, highlighted comments, members only live videos and early access to new uploads. If you're looking to book a photo or video session, all the details are down in the description below. I work in Las Vegas, Los Angeles, Riverside, Orange County, and San Diego. And down there, you'll also find all the links to my gear lists, including my 2025 content creator essentials list for anyone looking to get started. Those are affiliate links. So if you pick something up, it does go to help the channel. And don't forget, I am rebuilding my Instagram after losing my original account. There's a giveaway going on to help get the word out. Just follow me on Instagram, subscribe here, and drop a comment in this video saying that I followed you on Instagram and to sweeten the pot, go ahead and share and like everything you can over there and you will be entered to win free gear. But as always, the easiest way to support the channel is to just hit that like button, hit the subscribe button and keep watching when I post videos. So thanks so much for watching 
and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.